What is this? How does it move like that? And why does it look so familiar? Wait, it couldn't be... It is! Venom! An alien parasite that can take control of people like Spider-Man and Eddie Brock. But it can't really be an alien symbiote, right? Don't worry, it's not looking to take you over. It's actually a bootlace worm. And yes, that is worm as in singular. That large mass is one creature. Just how thin and long is this flatworm? Is it dangerous like the Marvel Universe's Venom? And why does it turn itself inside out? In the movies, we've seen Venom crawl across and attach itself to a host. And it gave Eddie Brock powers so he could avoid capture. But although it looks a lot like the Venom symbiote, the bootlace worm can't hijack your body. Thank God. Or give you superpowers. I've lost my mojo. Well, that sucks. And even though it appears to be just a large mass of goo, the bootlace worm is actually the longest creature on Earth. It may only be 5 to 10 millimeters thick, but it can grow over 55 meters long. That's almost twice the length of the world's largest mammal, the Antarctic blue whale, or the length of almost 700 earthworms. So if you wanted to stretch one out, it would almost reach from one end of an ice hockey rink to the other. The bootlace can be found along the coasts of Norway, Britain, and the west coast of Sweden. If you go searching for one, take a look in tidal pools and along muddy or sandy shores. You'll often find them curled up under rocks. They're not hiding though, they just like living under a rock. Like some people I know. They're usually completely black, but they can sometimes be brown with stripes running down the side of their body. How very sporty of them. And don't think they don't see you creeping up on them. They have 10 to 20 rows of eyes along their snout. But being black on black, it's hard for us to see them. One of the cool things about this crazy creature is its mouth. It has what's called an aversible proboscis. This tube shoots out of its head to grab onto prey and suck it back inside to be digested. It's a lot like Venom's tongue being used to attack its victims. When the bootlace worm isn't using its proboscis, it's kept in a fluid-filled chamber above its gut. In addition to catching prey, it also uses it to burrow into the ground. But one thing this worm doesn't have that Venom does are those massive fangs that Venom uses to deliver a toxic bite. Mm. And although the bootlace worm doesn't bite, it can still deliver a potent neurotoxin through its mucus that can take down predators larger than it, including crabs and crickets. The mucus can disrupt the nerve cell activity of roaches and invertebrates and kill them. But it's not strong enough to affect mammals, so you should be fine handling them. Well, you're handling it. But still, they're so icky that I'd make sure I had gloves on before picking one up, just saying. The bootlace worm may not be as dangerous or as deadly as venom, but I don't think I'd want to come across either of them. I'm just glad this worm doesn't have those awful fangs. Can you imagine one that hides on the sea floor and strikes suddenly with scissor-like jaws? Well, I can. We'll have a look at the Bobbit Worm on another episode of Crazy Creatures.